Welcome to The Bitter End. My name's Andrew. Today's episode is all about IPAs, or India Pale Ales. So the story goes that in the early 1800s, England had a high colonial presence over in India. And these colonials, they still had an appetite for beer, the main producer being Bose Brewery over in England. Now, Bose Brewery had a bit of a problem because the pale ales that they were sending overseas that often spoil on the way, and when they got there, they weren't very good. What is this? Smells like this. Smells like a good IPA is about counteracting the heavy hop presence or using hops that contribute fruity or floral overtones. Let's stop pretending that bitter is better and have a look at five IPAs that have nailed this misunderstood style. This is a Centennial IPA from Founders Brewing based in Michigan. And this is the perfect beer if you're looking to experience what hops is all about. You see, IPAs can vary greatly, and you'll hear people describing them as citrusy or explaining the floral notes that derive from the hops. Essentially, comparing the flavors of the hops to other recognizable flavors. But you can't do this with the Centennial IPA. I'd struggle to call it anything other than hoppy. In fact, the smell reminds me of my home brewing days, opening a packet of hops and smelling it. And the taste is linear, with just hops from start to finish, and a malt profile that's subtle, yet complementary. Really, it just does what an IPA is meant to do. It showcases the unique flavor of hops. And by that, I mean it's resinous, it's slightly sticky, it leaves a lingering bitterness in the mouth. It really is a beer brewed for hopheads, so it's not necessarily the type of beer I would suggest if you're new to IPAs. But once you do get a taste for hops, this beer can satisfy your cravings better than any other. So in three words, hoppy, linear, and sticky. Sierra Nevada's Torpedo IPA. The Torpedo pours slightly lighter than the Founders Centennial and boasts a more complex taste profile. And by this, I'm not assuming superiority. I do like each equally, but Torpedo has a lot more going on. It's a more citrusy IPA, and you can pick this up immediately from its aroma. It's smooth at first with flavors of bitter orange and kumquat, but a second or two later, there's a satisfying bitterness that fills your mouth and reminds you of marmalade. It's refreshing, it's slightly acidic, and it showcases the fruity and floral characteristics that can come from hops. Widely available, this is a cracking IPA, and it was probably one of the first IPAs that I fell in love with, next to Brewdog's Punk IPA. In three words, marmalady, fruity, and well-rounded. Stone IPA. Stone IPA continues on a similar vein to Torpedo with a bright, sharp bitterness, but Stone is a bolder and possibly brasher version than the Torpedo. It pours a beautiful, deep, orangey color with a flavor that's powerfully hoppy and bright. It's zingy. It's, it's a laser of flavor, and I wouldn't call it smooth as such. If you're looking for IPAs, this probably has the brutal, palate-destroying qualities that you're after. But it would be unfair to say that it's just a hop monster, because if you drink it slowly, you'll start to discover that there's a lot going on. There's those floral and citrus notes in the aroma. They fade when you're drinking it, but then you swallow and they're back again, and there's this interesting play between the bitterness on one hand and the floral notes on the other. My only criticism here is that the malt profile is essentially unnoticeable. While it's not a huge problem, I think that a beer of this intensity could be nicely mellowed out with a richer, sweeter malt profile. But it's still a cracking beer, and in three words, exciting, intense, and pungent. And now Dogfish Head's 90-minute IPA. While, strictly speaking, this is an imperial or double IPA, because it has double the amount of malt and hops, I just couldn't omit this beer from the list. 90-minute IPA is the smoothest beer you will ever consume. I think that the biggest criticism of IPAs in general is that they're unbalanced. And it's a criticism that's well justified, given the amount of over-hopped, mediocre beers masquerading as IPAs that are on the market. Heineken plus hops does not a good IPA make. 90-minute IPA rebels against this trend and has an IPA that is as impressive for its malt profile as it is for its hoppiness. What higher malt content means is a thicker mouthfeel, a beautiful caramel flavor. This is an IPA with the thickness of a stout. It's rich, it's smooth, but somehow still definitely an IPA. So in three words, smooth, malty, and well-balanced. And now for the fifth beer review, we have the Beer Pilgrim. 
G'day guys, my name is Tim Schroeder, I'm the Beer Pilgrim. I've just dropped in to show you my favourite IPA at the moment. It is in fact the Hopfenfart German IPA from Feral Breweries over in Western Australia. Um, it is actually an American style IPA brewed using just German hops, which is something very new and very different for Australia. By sense of comparison, we're so used to these big American IPAs using American hops, these big fruit bowl, uh, piney, resinous, uh, huge hop bombs. I find the hops here in this one, the German style hops, they're a lot more delicate. Let's get down to business. As you can see, it is just this beautiful, hazy golden color with a lovely little white fluffy head on it. So it's a very good looking beer in the glass. Mmm. It is a beautiful smelling beer. Mm. At the beginning you get this delicious malty sweetness with a slight, slight kind of rock melon tangerine note. And then straight after that you just get whacked by this pretty intense bitterness and it keeps going and keeps going. But it's not just a bitterness, you're also accompanied by this spicy, floral, herbaceous, earthy, grassy, um, actually I, I can almost taste a little bit of hay in there as well. It is a delicious beer, I absolutely love it. If you can get your hands on one, I highly suggest you do. Give it a shot. The uh, Hopfenfart from Western Australia. Mm -hmm.